Hi, today we're going to be subtracting mixed numbers with unlike denominators. The problem we have in front of us is the following. Tom bought two and one fourth kilograms of cherries. He ate one and five eighths kilograms and gave his sister the rest. How many kilograms of cherries did Tom give to his sister? So using problem solving strategies, you want to first determine what kind of problem is this? Is it addition, subtraction, multiplication, division? So put yourself inside the problem. Imagine this is you. You purchased these items and uh, you gave the rest to your sister. There's that phrase, giving it away. So it's indicating that you are subtracting. You ate some and you gave the rest away to your sister. So how many did Tom give away to his sister? So here we have 2 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 5 eighths. It's so obviously subtraction. We're going to be using fraction models here to represent this problem. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my, my fraction models or my area models, however you prefer to call them. There I have um, two holes, and they're all partitioned into fourths because I'm using that off of my fraction. I'm partitioning them using my fraction. Now I'm going to subtract from that, from that two and one-fourth, one and five-eighths. Now we already have a problem there because they're not the same denominator. So we're going to have to find a common denominator. Now, using other algorithms, you would say, well, the common denominator is 32. Well, let's use least common denominator. In this case, least common denominator is 8. Uh, a way you can look at it is, well, can I turn those four partitions, those fourths, into eighths on my area models? And, uh, yeah, we can. So now we went from being uh, 2 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 5 eighths to having um, 2 and Two eighths minus one and five eighths. So now we can go ahead and take care of the subtraction portion. So first off, I'm going to take care of my whole number. Very simply, I cross it out. That portion is taken care of. Now I'm going on to the fraction portion. I'm going to be subtracting five eighths. There I have one eighth, two eighths. 3 eighths, 4 eighths, and 5 eighths. So I've subtracted my whole number, subtracted my fraction, and I'm going to count up how many eighths I have left over. 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, and 5 eighths. So my answer, ladies and gentlemen, is 5 eighths. So 2 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 5 eighths equals 5 eighths. And that is my answer using area models. Now, the next problem we have is the following. The Guzman family needs five bags of cement for their patio. They need one and two-thirds bags for their front porch. How much more do they need for their patio? So here we are differentiating between what they need for the patio and what they need for the porch. So make sure you analyze the problem carefully. So you can figure out what operation you're going to be needing. So here we're going to be subtracting because we're trying to find the difference between what they need for the patio and what they need for their porch. So I'm going to be subtracting 5 minus 1 and 2 thirds. So I set up my area models. There I have 5. They're partitioned into thirds because that's what I'm going to be subtracting by. And it'll make my life easier. So first off, we're going to go ahead and take care of subtracting our whole number, our 1 from 5. So that takes care of one whole. So that's 5 minus 1. I'm left with 4, as you can visibly see there. I have 1, 2, 3, 4 holes left there. Now let's go ahead and take care of the thirds. I'm subtracting 2 thirds. I have 1 third two-thirds. So now I have finished completing subtracting five minus one and two-thirds. Now look at what is left over. I have one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds, four-thirds, five-thirds, six-thirds, seven-thirds, 
8 thirds and I have 9 thirds. Now that's improper fraction. Uh, another way to look at it, oh, I forgot, I have one more third there, that's 10 thirds. So I have one hole, two holes, three holes, and I have something left over, that extra third. So my answer is three holes, represented by that integer three, and that one third that is left over. So my answer is, how much more are they going to need for the patio? How, much, how many more bags of cement? They're going to need three and one third bags of cement to take care of the patio area of their home. No,